That is terrifying. <laughs> All right, real quick before we get started with this episode of The Walking Dead World Beyond, don't forget you can get the full uncut, unedited, raw reaction to The Walking Dead World Beyond on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to watch the episode along with me in its entirety, as well as get episodes from The Walking Dead and Fear, definitely check it out. Otherwise, they, of course, will still be on my YouTube, just heavily edited. Other than that, let's get this episode, guys. But we don't know where exactly. Not yet. That's just all the more reason to turn around. Right, New York is huge. How are you supposed to find anything? How come he's smiling? <laughs> he's happy. Hey, he feels like he belongs. Smiling. They have a large population, so if that were the case, their security approach, you know, not saying where they are, would be understandable. Sounds how? Like how shit to me. What is their plan when they get there, though? Just push their way in? <laughs> in the looks of it, they're not changing their minds. And it's not like you can he's drag them back where you want them. Silence, neither. Silas is gonna follow Iris to the ends of the earth. I just don't understand how that tooth or spike or whatever it is. Ooh. Let's go. Is sharp enough or sturdy enough the way that it's like pulled on there. What the hell? Who is that? Aw. Good work. Aww. We can cover more ground if we split up. We can handle ourselves. Someone talks. There's no way there's no food in that entire school. Keeping distance is the between life and death. They paid attention. You're with me on water duty. <sighs> Would be my honor. Uh, hey, so, uh, we haven't talked much since uh Don't I interrupt them. We could talk or whatever, but it's cool. We can talk later. Is she still going to be weird about the whole mom was killed because of me thing? <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Did you? I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh my god, I remember when those were a thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, stop. <laughs> I sat there and waited for you all day and you never showed. She looks so young, that's right. so weird. That. So you forgot. <laughs> the juicy jumpsuit, oh my god. I was gonna go between Good classes, times. Then Let's bring the juicy the jumpsuit right back. Phrase for the start of the advanced immunology textbook preface. Maybe you'd think twice before setting off stink bombs to try to get a day off of school. <laughs> this is getting to be a regular thing. They weren't thing. just stink bombs. They were time release stink bombs. They took two weeks to perfect. <laughs> you should be proud of her. She's going to be a scientist. At least you did good with Iris. Picking? Does that mean he adopted her? Because I've always kind of wondered that. We knew that even if we couldn't, you'd protect each other. Aww. You did good with Iris. And she did good with you. So they're both adopted then? I just hate that you don't see yourself the way I do. Aww. Because you are exceptional. So those stink bombs. The queen of are avoiding so stuff. Oh my god. Please. Try 60% dipropylene glycol and 20% theoglycolic acid. It's not what I would have done. She does seem pretty smart, though, overall. Damn, what the fuck? This seems like a pretty nice place to, like, hold up in. You know there's a bunch of research going on back home, right? There is, but this is Back much home? <laughs> it's visceral. Back home is not there anymore. I hate to tell you. Now know everything from their morning breath to their bathroom habit. <laughs> <laughs> Monumental shared experience such as this pretty much bonds you for life. Yeah. Oh, score. Now they look out for each other. Nope. Must have been injured and dragged itself away. Oh, it is a walker. <laughs> what? City Hawkins. <laughs> Must have gone to school here. <laughs> A dance named after her. Wow. Aww. Uh, so cute. Not the most useful, huh? Says who? Aww. I want to know who, what he did. I'm still not over that. Maybe we'll have better luck later. Hey, Felix, you copy? Felix? Nope, they're corroded. There's gotta be batteries somewhere in that school. Why does it seem so empty? 
It's always complicated shit with dads, you know? What do you mean? They just, you know. I feel like I can't tell tell how old anyone is. Cause I thought I, I thought Hope was older than Iris, but when he said they shared a crib together, it makes me think they're like the same age. They're good people, Hope. I mean, at least they seem to be. No. If you're giving your life to these people, they should tell you where you're going. I'll stop being a screw up. I'm not going on this trip because of you. You are not. A That's screw -up. sad. Of course I am. I'll show this device to you and your sister, Felix. Oh, Felix. Know. It's family. Romantic communications device. See? That's cool as hell. I can be bad too. <laughs> That's crazy he was able to invent that and make it work when literally nothing works. All they have is electricity and that's pretty much it. Maybe we draw it out. Face it on our turf versus theirs. <laughs> Maybe. That's like actually that. pretty smart. <laughs> Felix refuses to give anyone credit that they know what they're doing. Or might have a brain with a good idea. I'm just claustrophobic, so I'd rather not think about it. This one's not going anywhere. I wonder when that person got put in the locker, because that's really sad. But you're not ready for this. What do, do you know? You Hell, I don't even know if I am. Too bad. You don't have anywhere to go. I wonder if he's gonna talk them into going back and then he's gonna realize it's gone. You ever wonder why I got this tattoo? Oh, so it is a tattoo. Just to remind myself of everything that I've ever lost. And there were others, friends. I always wondered why. I couldn't tell if it like just looked like one of those partial sleeves or not. Pick that lock back there. All I'm asking for you to think about it, okay? Just think about it. Come on. Let's go. I hope they don't waste their time going back, and also I hope they don't waste our time with episodes of them trying to get back just to find it destroyed. Where did you find? Under the bleachers. <laughs> What's up, beer? <laughs> I've never had soda in a can. Before. Oh, and soda. That's funny. Didn't you have all those things back at the university? Yeah. <laughs> Good point. I just wish I knew then what I know now. Make up for what? Stuff. But Everybody I has secrets that they're not sharing. I definitely would have gone to more dances. <laughs> oh my god, dance together. You're different too. Come on, open up to her and tell her what happened. If they said something about me, talking about what they thought I did, I'd hear it all day in my head, over and over. He better tell her what I he actually did. Out here. Good. Aw. It is kind of cute though that she doesn't really care. It's like this, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's funny how they don't wear it on the top. I remember the headphones that used to go over your ears and then they would go around your neck in the back. I, I just didn't beg you for them. Um... It's like classical music. Like Grandma's favorite. Get back. What the fuck? I always wondered when they would bring a wolf or something into it. Because there are still wild animals. When I was four. You better go dance with her. My grandma took me to a ballroom dance class at the senior center. Show me. I can't. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, he gets all nervous. That's cute. Uh, like this. Right? I think so. <laughs> He's so tall. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Aww. This is cute. Oh. <laughs> Aww. She brings out a different side of him. That's cute. Aww. It's so cute. That is terrifying. <laughs> you look at posts in the doorway like it's standing guard. I think it's defending its young. Just don't go towards it. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jeez. So scary. Found him. Wasn't that where the walker was? Wait. Or is that on the other side? There's something else roaming these hallways. And I don't think it's friendly. I hope they don't have to go through the place that they disclosed. Like how you're trying to get me to turn back? That's what that was, right? I mean, all those questions? You should. A few days Why? ago, <laughs> I would have. Maybe he was trying to protect me like that wolf. Protect you from what? I don't know. Something. When I find him, I'll ask him. I don't get it. Ew. Start packing up supplies. There's a ton of food there, at least. Was it? We gotta get past the sun, uh, Yeah. Uh, Kill it. What the fuck? That was smart. Where was the wolf? In the vents? This is why Silas literally said, I mean, Felix literally said to sit still. Oh my god. Felix said does not go anywhere. They're sure getting lucky with all that. God damn. Silas? Just fucking kill it. God damn. Iris! Who? They should have just like killed the ones in the front. Like in all the front. You should have just killed all the front zombies. He did it. He fucking did it. Silas, goddamn. <laughs> Beating the shit out of it with his bare hands. Hmm. She kind of keeps cutting her off every time she's trying to tell her something. There's a lot I missed out on. We should have told each other about what happened that night. We would have been there for each other. So stop blaming her. Aww. Aww. How can I? We could really use your help on this one. This is how we keep everyone alive. Don't do it, Elton. You should leave me here. Okay, well, we're not leaving you here, so. I heard Elton. It was an accident. He knows Yeah, that. he didn't mean to. I doubt he did anything. Do you? It's okay. Oh, shit. Whatever you think. I just don't. I wonder if they, they got in a fight and he defended himself. But you saved us. Now. Can he just tell her what like actually sense. happened? We know what they think happened, but I want to hear the true story. Oh, damn, that's sad. Hey, you good? Want to get a group photo? Come on, everybody in. I thought you only used your camera to document stuff. Since when do you take pictures of actual people? I don't know. Since now. Oh. Aww. Damn. All right, guys, I'm turning my camera back on because there is apparently an after credit scene that I did not wait to watch that I did not know was there. So I want to watch it and get right into it. Here we go. I can't believe they put it all Test the way behind A402. the promo for the next episode. Necrotic plasma and brain what the fuck? are being drawn for further testing. Results to be compared to tests performed during and immediately following reanimation. So she was working with their dad. Known in life as Dr. Samuel a. Abbott of Portland, Oregon. What are they doing? Trying to find a cure and using people as test subjects? Eating good, huh? That's good there. Thank you. What the hell? So what I got from that is 
their dad might be one of the test subjects. I'm guessing it's testing for like, they're trying to find a cure, I don't know. And does the A have to do with anything? Because they kind of hit it for a second and then said A. So maybe that's like what Janice said when she said an A or a B. Damn, are they like capturing people and turning them to test them, to try to cure them? Also, I'm confused though, like why they need that many test subjects. Couldn't they just test it on a couple? Weird. Also, what's creepy is that she is clearly one of the scientists slash doctors and was in the picture with their dad. And another guy that's in that picture is one of the test subjects. So they don't discriminate against the smart ones, apparently. So that's creepy. At least we know that he's still alive as of his last message. Maybe he's just in deep shit and maybe it's going to become one of the test subjects. I don't know. But that's very twisted and kind of gives a little insight as to like where Rick could be. Obviously, Rick is not going to be a test subject because he's going to be alive, but that's fucking scary. Wow. Wow. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. That was episode four of The Walking Dead World Beyond. This was very good. Um, the only thing that I'm like kind of thinking of is I do hope that it's not just like every episode, every like every week it's just them finding a new location and trying to get through that location and the next one is finding that location and this one and i hope we kind of soon see the civil republic kind of catch up with them because we know that they have the means to easily catch up with them and to search for them so i hope soon we see kind of like them come into contact with other people whether that be the civil republic and have to like get away from them or that be other survivors that are out there but um I feel like it might get a little bit old just seeing their escapades from day to day and kind of seeing the same stuff. But um, this was still really entertaining nonetheless and I, I enjoyed it. It's interesting that they chose like the whole wolf storyline because part of me was like, ugh, I don't know about this whole like growling and like yanking the zombie under and shit. But um, when you think about it, there's still animals out, you know, there's still animals out there that are going to survive and find a way to survive. and that happened to be where that wolf went to survive and that does make a lot of sense to me so it was cool that they incorporated that as well i thought that was a really cool like choice that they made there iris and silas are stuck in the gym they're like seeing all the prom stuff or like the sadie hawkins stuff that was set up and they are pretty much trapped in there because one of the doors is like shut really hard from like water damage the other one there is a walker on the other side or empty whatever so they kind of spend the episode there together they find some soda under the bleachers and drink that together and it's really sweet and end up dancing together when he shows her his music and they just have tons of chemistry and you can tell that she really calms him she is like a calming presence to him and it's very sweet hope was with huck and she kind of talked to her in her way about like what changed and why she wants to come do this after she was so against it and wanted to just leave the world and she hated people and all this stuff before and hope kind of explains it to her and they ended up end up getting caught by this wolf who huck finds out is just probably protecting her young and they end up making it the way they're making it past they end up making it past the wolf and closing it in in the door Meanwhile, Felix is with Elton and is trying his hardest to get Elton to see that this is not the right move. And he thinks that the best way to convince Hope and Iris to leave would be through Elton. So now Elton's kind of on board to helping him, um, but I feel like something is going to have to happen, whether they see the Civil Republic and get kind of held up for a while and then they find out that their their community is no longer there or something but i doubt they're gonna have like multiple episodes of them getting back to their community just to find it empty i would hope they're not gonna do that because that's gonna be a huge waste of time so it's gonna be interesting to see how they find out that the community is no longer there because maybe it'll be a situation where like everyone agrees like hey yeah maybe we should go back but then they find out they can't go back because there's nothing to go back to so It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. In the end, we see Silas beating the shit out of a walker. You see like flashbacks to him beating someone up. And then later on, he tells Iris 
like do you did you hear that I killed my dad do you think I killed my dad you know so I'm, I'm sure that there's a reason for it and he was probably doing something because you could see in one of the scenes that Silas was being choked by someone so I'm guessing it was just self-defense and his dad was a crazy person I don't know I don't know why he would hurt his son but I feel like Silas is just kind of like a big teddy bear but is kind of traumatized from his past and what happened in his past and that was like what came out there and even Elton knew that that he didn't mean to push him and that it's just hard but Silas also could have gotten himself killed so he needs to calm down and get it together but yeah nonetheless I really enjoyed the episode I'm excited to see where they go with the series I feel like like I said it's episode four I don't think I think there's like eight or ten episodes for this season so I feel like they need to start like getting us somewhere and it's not just like the same thing every episode in a different location but yeah nonetheless still really enjoyed it I think that is pretty much it I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching